Hmm. Democracy 3 on the PC. Playing again on this WinBook laptop. We're in quarter number five, right? Yep. So I got to reload my game. Actually, I don't. But previously on Democracy 3, we implemented a number of policies. We managed to reduce crime, which is good. Because remember, we're in the fifth quarter now. Problem is, is that even though crime is down, unemployment is up. Why is unemployment up? Because we significantly reduced government spending. Specifically, we reduced, see the reduction in government spending here? It's against the temporary period of austerity or something. What's wrong? We decreased military spending. It's like significantly. I'll show you that over time. Military spending has now dropped. It's no longer 16% of our spending. It is now only 13%. We have now increased spending in state schools, which increased our state pension spending. So we, reduced, we did manage to reduce military spending, but in the process, the unemployment rate went up. We reduced it from, what was it? Overwhelming force. <laughs> and that's what the unemployment rate was. So that was the drag on unemployment due to, uh, due to military spending. So as a result, we slightly increased unemployment. I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to... Cost history, there we go. So we reduced it a tiny bit, not a whole lot. You can't eliminate military spending, don't be absurd. But you can make it ceremonial. <laughs> you know, marches, basically. Patriots won't like that. Reservists, ceremonial only. Light defensive reservists, ceremonial only, so... <laughs> That's amusing. Save yourself about $120 million. $120 billion, though. So there's also that. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Again, the unemployment was going to be a big problem. So you can't just do that. Scrap. Also, incre also decrease your uh, the capital you get from him, I want to say. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, space program. Road building. Decreases unemployment. Increases car usage. Environmentalists don't like it. Uh, road building. Yes, see, road building, rail subsidies. Decrease unemployment more. So military spending decreases unemployment the most, but of course you see it's gone up a tiny bit here because of that. We increased state school funding, though. So that'll get some of it back. Uh, what else? Just a second. Uh, technology, GDP. So it increases GDP. It, incre it increases technology. Private health care. Yeah, because they can't get private health care and decreases the amount of private schools because people can't afford them. Again, trying to make sense of what the red and green mean kind of hurts. Increases the unemployment. Increases the amount of money you got to spend in unemployment benefits, of course. Working week. Number of hours worked. Okay. To employees, shorter hours are seen as a good thing. At the German uh, system, I suppose. Foreign aid. Uh, we can lower that. Yeah, it's pretty low as is. Uh, foreign relations. Yeah, it increases our foreign relations and increases our... Okay, so they'll like that. Okay. So it's basically about foreign relations at this point. CO2 emissions reduce foreign relations. Okay. Uh, what's this? Tech colleges. Pollution. Jury trials. Other. Gang gun laws. Homelessness causes money, of course. Science funding. Technology grants. So this is the big chunk of money right here. We're, we're lowering unemployment because we're paying for jobs, basically. In the meantime, anyway, while well, the economy's struggling, I guess. The global economy's doing fine. They're keeping us afloat. But yes, yeah, the thing about austerity is that at some point you got to pay for it. So yeah, our income went down. 
Most of that income's from the income tax, by the way. So the alcohol tax won't get us that much money. In fact, I'll show you what I mean. By the way, Patriots are... Popularity with the Patriots went down. As you know. Look at that. Death penalty. <laughs> that's uh, Let's go to Patriot. Here we go. Death penalty. Handgun laws. Space program. Border controls. Foreign aid. Citizenship tests. Good lord. It's rough. How many Patriots are there, by the way? There are 40% of the country. That dude carrying a sniper rifle. And Diaz is a Patriot. As is Jerry Long. All right, so uh, what is that? International trade. Okay, so crime is going in the right direction. So maybe now we can focus on unemployment and GDP. But how do you increase? Well, GDP is going to cause unemployment to go down, obviously. GDP growth. Yep. So, uh, unfortunately, I mean, probably they're going to make us a little raise. They're going to make us lower some taxes. What works? Uh, let's see. It's a drag. It's a drag. Science funding increases to GDP in five years. Well, business grant increased the improved the economy in two years. Eight turns. Crime, productivity, the, 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 uh, skill shortage. I have to reduce that. Yes, skill shortage is a drag on the economy. But it, we're improving our education because we're spending a bunch of money on state schools. So we're employing people, see? So that's going to increase our education rating. That's supposed to help us get our GDP back up because that lowers the skill shortage. You lower the skill shortage, or GDP goes up. If you can narrow that, if you can reduce that skill shortage. So hopefully that'll help. We'll probably have to find another way to do that skill shortage. So how do you lower that? With tech. Well, education drops. Edu what? What's that? Uh, the modern economy is increasingly skill based. Just our education not taking place in America. This is going to have a negative effect on the economy. Okay. So we need tech. You get tech through grants, colleges, the space program, and science funding. But it takes a long time for that to pay off. So, yeah, we're going to keep that as is because it takes too long to go into effect. Uh, let's see. Health has gone up a bit thanks to our Children's Food Initiative. Safeguard oil supplies. Representatives from oil companies in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. Uh, let's see. The governments involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on the soil for this purpose. We can send the troops. That's why we have a military. This is not a foreign invasion. We have the provision of extra security for vital parts of our industry. If we do not deploy, the oil supply will suffer. Don't deploy the troops. Doesn't matter what the motivation is. Our symbolism of our troops landing on foreign soil, heavily armed, for use deadly force, are going to cause a major backlash in some countries. We're not going to deploy the troops. Uh, let's see. So I don't know if that costs us any money. I mean, are we deploying the troops that we're already paying for? Is that the way that works? No. Yeah. It's, it's a political game. Uh, let's see. Security briefing. The Human Rights Society has been doing something or rather. There they are. The numbers are going down, though. Uh, security Human Rights Society has been criticizing government policy on the radio. Well, we did increase, uh, we did pass that racial discrimination law. Polls, we haven't budged. Despite the, mil the drop in military spending, we haven't budged. Economic forecast. Nope, not good. Can't really afford to reduce expenditures at this point, I want to say, with the economy tanking. You gotta go Keynesian, huh? Uh, budget report. Or establish that poll. Security cabinet report. Okay, so we have to spend some of this political capital on something. So we gotta spend it on a tax, it looks like. 
That's my logic. We can do import errors. They go into effect in five quarters. Uh, that might actually decrease our, uh, what do you call it? That's going to cost 13. What about the, what about another tax? Economy. Tax shelters. Got alcohol tax. That's going to use up most of my political capital, though. And it's not popular. And it won't get you that much money. <laughs> uh, internet tax. It might hurt your tech, obviously. That's going to use up a lot of that political capital. Let's just drop it to the 20s if we can. Healthcare vouchers. Uh, what was the big one? We already, we're already reducing crime. We don't have to worry about crime anymore. Uh, let's see. Bus lanes. Nah. Drill efficiency standards. Nah. So basically, we can't implement any of these taxes. They cost too much politically. Taxes cost a lot of money politically, as you would expect. Plastic bag tax. But it's kind of regressive, obviously. Uh, let's see. It costs money. You might get a little. Mansion tax. It costs a lot of political capital. Junk food tax. So what? Yeah. These are somewhat... Uh, yeah. It costs a little bit of political capital. Health food subsidies. Health tax credits. Yes, controls people to spend their money on private health care, yep. <laughs> Pretty significant political capital spending on that. Enterprise investment scheme. Recreational drugs tax. Carbon tax! <laughs> it's going to blow our political capital. But we'll get some money from it. Flat income tax. Flat tax, we can't afford. Not popular. Can exacerbate income inequality. Sorry, Steve Forbes. Plastic bag tax it is. We'll see what we can do. Remember, we had to cut military spending. Uh, let's see. What should it be? It's going to raise a lot of money. Yep, it's going to raise a lot of money. Pretty much at the billion mark. Okay. Apply. Apply that bag tax. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get a billion dollars. We're just going to make a dent in our budget. Let's be brutally honest here. Yep, that bag tax will net us a cool billion dollars. Which is nothing. Uh, let's see, uh, not a lot of money to be raised here, let's be brutally honest. The luxury goods tax didn't give us that much money, the plastic bag tax ain't gonna give us that much money, but it will pay for other things that we're gonna need to lower unemployment eventually. Okay, we've gotta lower the, uh, we gotta raise a little bit more political capital here. The import tariffs. Uh, state housing. We're trying to improve the economy, but everything takes too long. <laughs> uh, let's see. Health tax credits. That's too much. That's too much. School tax credits. That's too much. Junk food tax. Yeah, it's not gonna give us much money. Recreational drugs tax. Potential income, none, obviously, because we haven't legalized cannabis. Can't do it till the crime rate drops. We could do it anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gambling. Potential income, none. What? 
Oh, you have to imp you have to allow it in order to tax it. Speed cameras. Racial profiling. <laughs> Enter without trial. Curfews. No. Fine. Okay, so we're running out of we're running out of tools in the toolkit here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let's see what else can we do. Cycling. Actually, am I not supposed to take a stand on some of this stuff at some point? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna blow a bunch of money. Airline tax. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna eat up too much of my political capital. Jeez. All right. Policies. Where's our existing policy list? Right here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, actually, let me go back a bit. For the GDP. Taxes. Grants. Global economy is helping. Oil prices are helping for now. Credit rating downgrade is hurting us a little bit on our GDP because we got to pay for those freaking. Got to pay the interest. This game is brutal. So we're in a recession, actually. We are officially in a recession. We've had two quarters of decreasing economic growth or decreasing uh, shrinking economy. Yeah, so we got to spend some of this political capital, y'all. Fewer Republican activists. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, people want to vote whoever they want, to be honest. Way fewer Republican activists, though, which I thought was interesting. Despite the reduction in military spending. Crime is down, unemployment is up. Uh, work for the health. No, that's right. We said we're going to... So we're going to increase spending in one of these other areas. So to deal with unemployment, we will have to get over here. We'll have to increase spending in our space program, I said. So I'll spend an extra cost. It's an extra $20 billion. And that's going to eat up most of our political capital. Okay. Punish France, ignore Germany, forgive Russia. No comment. Ah, uh, save. Q. Click. Q. It's gonna be a thing. Q. This is officially a bit. Q5. This Bluetooth keyboard isn't great. Pandering to the media, gerrymandering constituency, scheduling full opportunities, turning a blind to corporate tax avoidance, and reticulating votes. Okay, how we doing? We're going to peek at the next area, see how we do. Well, we haven't. Not Patriots don't like us as much, obviously. Crime is down, unemployment is up. Well, we forgot, we forgot to actually advance the time. We have to advance the timeline. There we go. Lobbying ministers, buying votes, lining up retirement directorships, gerrymandering constituencies. Return to government. Crime is down. GDP is down. Unemployment is stabilized. So crime is back to a reasonable level now. Okay. Poverty is at a decent level. Education is at a decent level. Actually, it needs to be doing better. Yeah, it's doing a little bit better, I guess, because of the state schools. Okay. Freedom of information. Economic forecast. Global economy is okay. We are neither in a boom or bust cycle. Expenditures are up. Income hasn't moved. Global economy is down. Get to GDP ratio is pretty bad. Expenditures. Space program, military spending, state schools, state pensions. Which decrease poverty. Let's deal with private pensions, by the way. They increase the DD, they increase the GDP apparently. No, 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 no. They increase popularity among the retired, okay. They decrease inequality though. So as the GDP goes up, private pensions go up. 
But since we're in a recession, no one can really do anything about it. Okay, so let's check out a couple of things. Anti-social behavior costs some money. <laughs> Asthma epidemic. So we got to reduce car usage and improve the environment. Lung disease, basically. Homelessness is obviously still an issue. But crime is down. Which is, really what, which is what we really wanted. It was really bad when we started out this video. So apparently all that community policing has paid off. As has the uh, extensive rehabilitation. Okay, but the economy's in the tanks. So we're going to have a problem. So we'll have to get to that in a second. Religion is what keeps the poor from murdering the rich. Napoleon. A traitor of the Louisiana Purchase. To Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> you probably felt the same way about slavery. Uh, let's see. So we'll quit out of this in just a second. I think minorities really like me. Safeguard oil supplies. Oh, so we didn't go overseas. We didn't place troops overseas, so I think minorities like that. Equality now? Well, they're not as angry. Uh, equality now? Yeah, these guys. Their numbers are dropping. Threat assessment isn't that bad. Race Discrimination Act. Foreign aid. Safeguard oil supplies. Increased racial tension, citizenship tests, border controls. Uh, you can, you can. Oh, we can lower this. We we'll get to that later. Uh, passport checks, random passport checks. So it increases immigration. Increases ethnic minorities. <laughs> you want to reduce ethnic minorities. <laughs> no, actually, no, it, it reduces your uh, standing with them. Retina scans. Holy crap, dude. And increases patriotism levels. Yep, yeah, so patriots aren't going to like that. Uh, liberals, are, liberals will like it. Immigration will reduce. Is that what that is? Cancel. So it increased tourism. We'll consider that in our next video. What's the deal with what's the deal with ethnic minorities? What's the deal with immigration? Remember, people are entering this country. The internet attempt to make them a new home is because of a strong economy. So yeah, if our economy is crap, there you go. Watch this effects increases racial tension. Eventually, increases the cost of citizenship tests right away. Increases unemployment a tiny bit. Decreases the GDP. Uh, let's see. Increases the number of ethnic minorities in two years. Decreases wages. Uh, increases homelessness. Decreases the skill shortage. Yeah, it makes the skill shortage worse. Nothing here about crime. Hmm. We'll come back. <laughs> 